I was in, interested in aviation I was ever since I'd seen an airplane. And I joined the Army Air Corps because I knew that's where I wanted to be. I was 19 when I enlisted and 20 on the raid. They needed volunteers for a, a special mission. I was a mechanic on the ground and I wanted to do some flying. So I was able to get on that crew. The 95th Bomb Squadron, the 17th Bomb Group, was the first group in the Army Air Corps to begin training in B-25s. They had more experience, so all of the Raiders were picked out of that bomb group. We did very intensive training so they could be, be prepared to take off an aircraft carrier in, a, in a, that very short distance. The 18th of April, run, run into a Japanese picket ship out there. We were afraid that they had radioed to Japan that the task force out there. So we had to take off immediately. They just out announced over the loudspeaker, pilots, man your planes. That's when we had to get ready to go. I didn't have time to be nervous. We were so concentrated on what we were doing. And as we approached Tokyo, and there was quite a bit of anti-aircraft fire over the city when we reached there, but it wasn't accurate. Our target was this Nippon Steel Factory in Tokyo. We dropped our four bombs on that and got out of there as soon as we could. And then we followed the coast of Japan and then turned west to China. It was nearly dark and, and raining and the pilot spotted a strip of beach that he thought he could set the airplane down on. But I think he misjudged the distance because it was pretty dark. And, and so we hit the water with our wheels down, immediately turned us upside down. The other four of the crew were thrown out through the nose of the airplane. I was in the back. I was knocked unconscious for a while. Finally realized that uh, there was water coming in what I thought was the bottom of the airplane. So I tried to get out there, but then realized it was upside down. And uh, so I was able to work my back to the bottom of escape hatch and open that and get out on the bottom of the airplane. By that time, the other four of the crew had gotten up onto the beach. The whole front of the airplane with a pilot compartment and a navigator and bombardier compartment were smashed flat back against the leading edge of the wing. So if they hadn't been thrown out, they'd have never got out alive. The first thing we saw was a, a few people up on the, on the bank there and they tried to help us to get up on the bank and away from the airplane. And the guerrilla leader on the, on the island there picks up some stretchers some pallets so they could carry them. The other four, because they couldn't walk, then it took us most of the night and, and most of the next day to get across that island. It was a pretty good sized island. The evening of the second day, we finally reached free territory in China. Crew number 15 had made a good water landing on an island, near an island, out farther from the coast than we were. And the guerrillas were operating on that island too. So they got them, brought them to the island that we were on. They had the only doctor that was on the raid on that crew. And Doc White was on, was a, uh, he stayed with my crew and I went on with the other four of crew number 15. We traveled by sedan chair and every mode of transportation you can think of. Most of the time walking for day after day, finally got to where we were able to ride in the rickshaw all one morning. And then we got to the place and then looked across the draw there and there was a the automobile waiting for us. They were, uh, the Chinese treated us royally while we were there. We had done something that they hadn't been able to do for four years fighting the Japanese, and that was to bomb the Japanese homeland. Even though they didn't have very much, they gave us the best. I guess I was awarded the Silver Star for taking care of the other members of the crew. Had to be prepared for something like that, but I, I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, you have to do what you have to do in a situation like that. 